Stephen, round one of the Pro 12, been and gone. Didn't go as we'd hoped for at the Ulster. Disappointing outcome. Have you done your review? Have you been able to put your finger on what went wrong? Yeah, um, like obviously it was a pretty disappointing night for us. Uh, that's a bit of an understatement, but it's something we reviewed pretty hard on Tuesday. Um, we've taken it as a chin, as a, as a team and as a group. Um, and like the positive is that we got Munster on the weekend, which we can put things right quite quickly. Um, reviewed things, all of our detail and everything we talked about performance wasn't where it needed to be. Um, we reviewed that and obviously everything we've practiced didn't come out on the field, which is extremely disappointing. And we've questioned our mental preparation of the week. Training could have been a little bit better right throughout the week and it's something that uh, we're really focusing on this weekend. When we talk about mental preparation and attention to detail and all of these kind of things, what would you put it down to? Is there one particular thing that can lead to that kind of performance? Yeah, I think it's the little things. It's just making sure, like we always speak about, there's knowing your role and no matter what, what we do in, whether it's recovery, nutrition, every little bit of detail counts um, in around these these games, these areas. And it's something when you probably look back, we've, we've had a long, hard look at ourselves. Did we do enough when it comes to that throughout that week? Some of the training was decent last week, but when we've reviewed it and looked back, and there was still a couple of things that we were off on, and I think that transpired in, into the Friday night performance. Is it one of those things that you just have to put down as one of those things, because you've got so many players away, young players coming in, a few debuts, or is it something that you can iron out, it's nothing to do with that, it's a purely performance thing that we can work on? Yeah, look, I think those are the things you can look into and try to hide behind, but ultimately, we talk about performance and if it's a performance and that's not good enough and we can't get the outcome, but our performance is decent, then I, I, I can sort of live with that. But if we haven't got a performance right, then we've got no chance of getting an outcome. It's important though not to beat ourselves up too much. We've got to be honest in the review, but it is only round one of 22 and still 21 games to go. So still everything to play for and there's a lot to be excited about. Oh no, definitely. And like, like I say, there were, there were some... Um, the one or two decent things but it's something that we've worked on and we're pretty excited about Munster and that's something that does turn your focus quite quickly is this the game is we were on to the next one really quickly we go to Munster we're back at home should be a good night like at the end of the day there'll be some debuts for some boys and it's exciting to be back at the Liberty and the boys and all of us as coaches boys we, we want to represent the Osprey jersey properly and we'll be preparing to do so on uh, Sunday. So from that, reading into it, spirit has been good this week and training has been lively. Yeah, it has. And like at the end of the day, there was no sort of hiding place in around Tuesday's review. The boys have held their hands up and we were quite quite critical of what it was. But it's something, like you say, we win and lose together. But it's something that that wasn't an Osprey-style performance. Um, and we're really expecting an Osprey-style performance come Sunday. And it's probably important to underline something that we've said previously. We've lost a game didn't play well, but that doesn't make us a bad team. Same as if we'd gone there and the scores had been reversed and we won a bonus point, it would have made us the best team in the world. Yeah, no, exactly. And it's something that we've reviewed thoroughly. Um, we've been harsh on ourselves in round that wasn't an Osprey end performance. And it being round one, we're sort of, sort of lucky that we got Munster come Sunday so we can um, put in an Osprey like performance come Sunday. And it's something that we're pretty keen to get on with. And starting this week, we definitely get a sense after the review. There's a real energy and a real keenness to go and put things right and make sure, like we say, it's, it's a round hour performance come Sunday, it is an Osprey-like performance. And it's consistency of approach and how you look at things, win or lose, we do things exactly the same. Do the review, take the learnings from it and move on. Yeah, exactly. We, we can't, you haven't got time to dwell on things. Um, whether you win or lose, you, like you say, you've got to take the learnings out of it. There's been some real key learnings to come from Ulster, just the importance to show of exactly what little bits of the week mean to something and if you're, you're a little bit short on whether it be your nutrition whether it be how, how you get prepared for sessions those things can't be left to chance we have to prepare and prepare really well it's all it's a lot we talk about our training weeks often lend itself to performances on the field come friday or sunday and it's something we start the week a little bit sharper than we did last week and as you've touched on Munster home is enough to sharpen the mind on it for anybody yeah the boys are really excited in fairness they, they, they they're pretty critical on themselves and like you say there's definitely an excitement of having the ability so quickly to go and turn around things and look uh, like as well the Kingspan's a real tough place to go it's, it's a real strength of a team but it's something we thrive on being written off or 
with all the injuries in times of adversity, we like to come out fighting and making and fighting, being the word in around our performance and our, de our level of detail and how we do things as a team. You talk about fighting and spirit. Sunday's game is also a tribute to a former Osprey, Jerry Collins. Mm. Sadly passed away earlier in the summer. Now that's a man who showed character and spirit and perhaps would be fit in the print performance on Sunday that would make him proud. Yeah, exactly. And I think what epitomises Jerry was how hard he worked when he was on that field. Whether he carried an injury or whatever it is, he found a way to do things. And that's something as well sprays, whether it be um, boys away, boys are injured. The guys who represent that shirt need to find a way to put in a performance that represents the Ospreys as well as Jerry. Yeah.